Hey tribe, it's Kia from Heritage93, and today I'm stepping into something a bit different, but still requested by quite a few of you guys. So if you're interested in an at-home petty routine that gets things going on the right foot, keep on watching. First, I start running the hot water in the bath and mixing in a few goodies, baking soda, some sea salt, and a soothing bath treatment. This one has oatmeal in it. Then I mix it all together and let the hot water stand. As the water cools down a bit, there's no rush cause it's piping hot. I'm taking my time and gently removing all of that old nail polish with my mild acetone. Okay, we're all done. Now it's time to get soaking. One of my favorite things about using the tub to soak the feet is that I have the space to play around in the water and just unwind as I soak them for about 10 to 20 minutes or so. It's very relaxing. And as the dirt and the scum between my toes loosen, I go digging up and clearing underneath my toes with some slanted tweezers. And don't get mad at me for the blocked camera view, the camera was just looking out for the cringe tribe. Next, I grab my clippers and trim down the nails if they're a little longer than needed. And in sitting in the water, of course, the skin does its thing and sheds, and I rub it up and shake it around in the tub before draining. Now I'm going to brush on the cuticle oil, mostly for effect, since my toes are already saturated with moisture. But come on now, who wouldn't want to add extra oil when they're trying to treat themselves? But as a disclaimer, cuticle oil is ideally the last line of defense for extremely dry cuticles. But like I said, treat yourself. And while my toes are soaking, sometimes I reach for the big gun. A callus eliminator definitely comes in handy when my feet have been feeling the neglect, but the formula is pretty strong. I definitely recommend using gloves when applying, which makes me wonder what on earth is in this stuff. Moving right along. And after I let the callus cream and the cuticle oil sit, I rinse my feet with warm water, scrub with a pumice stone, and of course, wash all of the chemicals off of my feet with my trusty black soap and rough up the suds with my spin brush before rinsing thoroughly. Uh, and for fresh feet, I towel off and use a foot balm to help preserve the smooth softness just before painting my nails. I've been seeing this one style of French nails on Instagram and they look super cute and relatively easy to do. But first, I'll definitely apply some base coat. It's all in the purple tone polish and for this, I'm using the Anise Pro Gel in Palm Breeze. It's the perfect shade of purple I need. And once the purple polish is solid or opaque, I'll take my white striper and go right over the top of each nail to give it that French look. I'm pretty new to gel. The only time I've used gel before this was that clear top coat in a number of my fingernail videos, but the super smooth feel was a new experience for me. And although it's gel, I didn't use a light to cure it. And done. This routine is a really good way to treat myself to the little things while it being a great form of therapy when I need to restore some order and feel some zen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a try and treat yourself to some more self-care videos while you're here. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.